Hey, it's Benji Cole, son of Al Cole from CBS Radio and host of People of Distinction. The talk that gives an in-depth view of some of the most dynamic, intelligent, and successful people on the planet. Run to our website, peopleofdistinction.org, for more info. Or you can always email me directly at benji at alcoholenterprises.com. And on the line with us today, we have Juanita Perry. We're going to be discussing her amazing book, Love vs. Life. That's available for purchase through Amazon as well as barnesandnoble.com. And people, I want to take an opportunity and point out that Juanita was brought to our network, People of Distinction, by one of the best publishers in the business, Author Reputation Press. So if you or anyone you know have a book that they'd like moved, well, people, give yourself the best gift you could possibly give and contact ARP, okay? They're one of the best in the business to do it, and they specialize in taking your literary creation to the next level. Head on over to their website today and figure out what they can do for you. And that site is authorreputationpress.com. And listen, it is an absolute pleasure to have Juanita here on the line. Now, the moment you head on over to her Amazon Barnes & Noble pages and you start to do any research on her book, Love vs. Life, you know what we're talking about today, okay? Now, this is an action suspense book. It, it, this is a nonstop page turner, people. I'm telling you, it's going to keep you on the edge of your seat guessing what will happen next and really the journey that you're getting ready to embark upon because this book is filled with twists and churns and you are just going to get lost in it. I'm telling you, from a point of view of just getting, just having an exit, right, to get away from all of the day-to-day pressures and challenges that we have, this, I'm telling you, is going to be one of those journeys that you're not going to be able to put down, okay? Now, it's a quick read, but you're going to be left wanting more. I promise you that. And at the end of the day, Juanita is the expert. She's written the book. She's done the research. She's going to be able to articulate it much better than I ever could. So without further ado, let's bring her here with us. Juanita, first and foremost, welcome to People of Distinction, and thank you very much for being a guest. How are you doing today? Thank you. I'm doing fine. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, Juanita, we are very much looking forward to this. Uh, As I was preparing for this interview and doing the research, I just, uh, listen, just from reading the description, my mouth was dropping, right? (laughs) I was just like, my goodness, there is so much happening here, right? The journey that you're taking your readers on is incredible. Now, I know we have a lot of information to cover pertaining to the book, and we're going to get to that in just a moment. But let's start off by learning a little bit more about yourself, Juanita. Please tell us more about your background. Well, first, I am a mother of two. Um, I started writing in the fifth grade. Um, I just started, you know, writing a book. This is my first book that I ever published, mm-hmm. so... This is something because you're not the only one that said they want more. There's a lot of people that want more from this book. So <laughs> I'm trying. I'm kind of proud of myself. So I, I am going to keep on writing. Wonderful. Well, you should be very proud of yourself. Uh, writing a book and publishing a book is no easy accomplishment. So take a lot of, of pleasure in the fact that you accomplished an amazing feat there. Now, before we go into the book, and I wasn't planning on going here so soon, but I can't go anywhere else now. You talked about you've been writing since the fifth grade. I mean, this is something that is in your blood, right? You eat, sleep, and breathe Mm -hmm. this stuff. Talk to us about where that love for writing comes from, Juanita. Well, that love for writing, I'm going to, you know, give her a shout out. My my fifth grade teacher is the one that actually started me from writing. I didn't even know I was that any good. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, my family... My grandma, before she passed, she used to talk to me. We used to talk about me writing a book, and just so happened right after she passed, I was able to publish it. Wow. That's, that's, you know, part of my inspiration right there. Absolutely. Now, because you've been writing since the fifth grade, I'm sure there's a wide range of things and genres Mm -hmm. that you've touched up on. Has it always been fictional narratives, or what are some of your other Uh writing styles? I actually used to write poetry, songs, raps, and, you know, books. I have I started writing my first book when I was, like, 14, but that book I never published. It was, you know, a crazy book like this one, but I never published that book. 
but um, I started writing this book when COVID started. So, right. I said, you know, let me see how to publish it. So that's how that happened. Yeah, absolutely. You know, sticking with inspiration here, Juanita, out of all of the works that you've written, what made you want to publish Love Versus Life? Well, because as I was writing it, and then I was telling my mom about it, she was like, oh, you should try and see if you could publish it, because that's a good book. Like, so I, as I was reading it, while I was writing, I'm like, well, I think people is going to like it. So that's what made me um, publish it. Well, Juanita, without further ado, let's jump right in. Love versus Life. Tell us a little bit more about your book. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to tell you everything about it. All I could tell you is it does have everyday issues as in love that turns into betrayal but it also have has an unexpected twist happens in the book but you will have to read it in order to find out what that is short and sweet people listen amazon of barnes and noble i said it before i'm going to say it again it's where you have to go love versus life is the title you have to pick up and juanita perry is the author you have to thank for bringing it to your table juanita what would you say was a highlight for you in writing this book? Or if not a highlight, you know, maybe something that surprised you that you weren't anticipating before you began. Well, what surprised me is when I was at working, my managers, they used to read this book. And the one manager, she used to tell me, oh, you need to make it a sequel. You need to make it a sequel. I need more. And a lot of people actually came up to me that actually read this book said, um, they need more. So I really just wanted to see how far this book goes before I write the second part. Mm-hmm. Now, who would you say is your intended audience with this book, Juanita? Anybody that loves horror or, you know, love and horror, mm-hmm. then this is the book for you. Now, out of all of the, the genres that you've written about, Juanita, what would you say is your favorite? I would say this book right now, because I've mixed all different types of genres in one book. So I would say this whole book actually is my favorite right now. Mm -hmm. Focusing now on the future here, Juanita, please tell me this is not the only book. I know you've heard it from so many people, right? There's got to be more on the horizon. You got to keep on writing. What is upcoming for you? I'm going to make a sequel. I'll be starting part two pretty soon. (laughs) And then eventually we'll get into a movie. Eventually we'll we'll get to that point where Mm -hmm. we can make it into a movie. But other than that, I'll I'll start writing part two real soon. Juanita, I I love having this platform. Switching gears here quickly. But I love having this platform. I'm an artist myself, okay? I'm in a different medium. I'm a filmmaker based here in Los Angeles. But Mm -hmm. I love having this platform to pay it forward to other artists out there listening in whenever the opportunity presents itself. And you are someone that has been writing since a very early age, almost your entire life. And you've now mm-hmm. gone through the process of getting your book published. And whether it's your first or your 20th, you are a bona fide author now. I want to take this opportunity for new writers out there listening and someone just getting ready to embark upon that journey. What are some words of wisdom that you'd be able to offer them about what to expect um, what I can say to new artists or people that's trying to be new artists, if you really want to publish your book, if you don't think that it's going to go anywhere, just at least try and just go with it and invest in it. And you'll see a happy ending, most likely. It's going to be a happy ending when you publish your book. Just don't give up. You know, that's fantastic advice. Listen, I know it's meant for writers. And it absolutely applies, right? But wonderful Mm -hmm. advice really for anyone, okay? I don't care if you're an artist Mm -hmm. or whatever your background is. Mm -hmm. People never give up, right? Your dreams and anything that you aspire to, at the end of the day, nothing to it but to do it, right? And and listen, I get it, right? Mm -hmm. Because that fear of failure, the fear of rejection is real, right? It's it's prevalent. It's there, Mm -hmm. So it's not always as easy as just taking that next step and doing it. Right. But you have to go through, like, like, there's so much to be gained by taking that leap of faith. And, And it absolutely is a leap of faith because here's the thing. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little uh, I'm 
gonna get a little deep here, right? And I'm gonna I'm gonna use a cliche, but people, even if you put yourself out there and you don't get the desired outcome, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. there are no losses in life. Okay, there mm -hmm. are wins, and then there are lessons. So even in those circumstances where things may seem like it's a loss, right? Even in those circumstances where things may seem like you failed, there are silver linings to be gained. And through those experiences, mm -hmm. through those lessons, you're able to develop wisdom for the next challenge. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. you have to take this book, get lost in the journey, but understand what Juanita just said in terms of the words of wisdom that she's relaying because there is much more that meets the eye. You have to head on over to mm -hmm. Amazon and Barnes and Noble. Love versus life is the title that's available currently, but make sure you check back in frequently because as she stated, and as people are constantly telling her, there's gotta be more, right? There's gotta be another book and we hope it doesn't stop at just a sequel, right? We hope that it continues down the line and there is much, much more that comes your way from the fantastic Juanita Perry. Head on over there today, get your copies, and just get lost in it. Juanita, this has been an absolute pleasure. Okay, such an honor. Thank you once again for being a guest on People of Distinction. Thank you. You're welcome.